Back with our director of scouting, Craig Button. Craig, to say Connor McDavid is back to playing like Connor McDavid would be a huge understatement. 16 <laughs> points during the five game streak, but beyond him, all right, beyond him, what else have the Oilers been doing for this major turnaround to happen? Yeah, and, and you're right, beyond what Connor McDavid has done, because it's no co coincidence that what Connor McDavid has done is paralleled what the Edmonton Oilers done. But the biggest improvement has been in their defensive play. In the last five games, it, it is market improvement. It is significant increases in all the areas you need to be strong in defensively. We're talking about slot shots, inner slot shots. They were terrible at giving up rush chances, turnover chances, and the high danger chances that they were giving up put their goaltending in real significant peril. But now, all of that has been cleaned up. And the improvements in that defensive area of the game by everybody in the lineup. You think about Connor McDavid, the goal that he set up Zach Hyman for in that hat trick mm. goal. That was fantastic. Tracking back, stripping the puck, and then going on to offense. But they have played so well in front of their netminder. Which leads us to the netminder, Stuart Skinner. 5-0, and 9-4-3 save percentage in that time period. Is he going to sustain that? I would say say no. But what we saw earlier in the year from Stuart Skinner, I don't think was representative of his abilities and certainly what he showed last year as being significant to the Oilers run into the playoffs and being on the all-rookie team. But what he's done is, is steadied his game. And when you steady your team in front of him with good defensive play, it allows the goaltender to find his game. Those two things have been significant. We know the offense is there. We knew that they were going to score. But those other two areas, the goaltender, Skinner, and the defensive play, have been excellent. Okay, if they keep doing what they're doing, if the Oilers continue to climb the standings and they do make it in, do they still need to make additions to be more than just a fringe playoff team, Craig? Well, I, I think that when you have McDavid and Dreisaitl and you make the playoffs, you're more than fringe. Imagine that. You're a wild card yeah. team. And the first place team in one of the divisions gets that matchup. Nice reward, isn't it? But here's what I would say for the Edmonton Oilers. I think they will make the playoffs as a wild card. But if they want to be serious when the playoffs begin to be a serious contender, they need to get deeper, bigger, faster, stronger in their forward group. That's, you know, ideally, that's three or four forwards in my view. Wow. And if you look at the recipe for success come Stanley Cup playoff time, it, it is there. The, the recipe is there. The template is there. And the Oilers simply don't have that. Now, I know they're not going to go get three, four forwards that can do that. But one or two would be significant for their chances to be much improved come playoff time to advance.